Hey, what's up all my freaks and geeks out there in YouTube land? MGo here, and today is the premiere installment of something I like to call MGo's First Impressions. So today's first impression will be of... The Iron Man 2 comic series Hulkbuster Iron Man. Now the whole point of this new little feature that I'm doing is that I will be taking a figure that I just bought, I will be opening it up right in front of you. You know, I haven't opened it up and played with it for a couple days and figured out all the little, you know, uh, hits and misses that it has. I'm going to sit here, open it up, and I will be experiencing this figure for the very first time. And if you don't have this figure, then you'll be experiencing it for the first time all right along with me. And I will give you a legitimate first impression of what I think of this brand new figure that I just acquired. So, that's what we're going to do. So, we got the Hulkbuster Iron Man. I saw him at my local Kmart and I thought he looked really cool. I don't know if you could see through all the glare here. You can see more of my reflection in the plastic than anything, but... You know, it's your standard Iron Man 2 uh, packaging here. You get the nice product shot in the back along with the other cross cells. Little, uh, bio here on the Hulkbuster Iron Man. Let's see what it says here. Tony Stark is always thinking ahead about how best to protect the Earth. One of the dangers that has preoccupied him for years is that posed by the Hulk. Stark built the Hulkbuster Iron Man armor, an immensely powerful suit designed specifically to take down the Hulk and prevent him from threatening the planets. Okay. Pretty cool. And it comes with, save $5 on your next Iron Man toy, coupon inside. And it also comes with figure stand. Yeah! Did they really have to write that that big on the really, really? Is this going to draw people to buying the figure more? Is this, gonna, is this, this, this is supposed to excite me? Because you put it in big letters with an exclamation point. With figure stand! You can stand him on a piece of plastic, yeah! You know, really? <sighs> I love how toy makers think. I really do. Whoever designs these packages, these packages, excuse me, a little verbal fart there. But okay, so here is the general packaging here. Here, he is number 27 in the series. And uh, right here, Avengers Assemble. All right, so we're gonna open this bad boy up. So here we go. Let's really get this first impression started here. Crack this baby open. Go! 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 Why do you put so much tape on these things? My God. It's like they don't want you to open this. It's like they want you to never take this out. There we go. Get away. Tape. I don't know what this is that just fell out. I don't know. Look at this first. What just fell out here? Iron Man 2! What is this? Oh, more cross cells. Let's see. We have War Machine. I do have War Machine. He actually is uh, at my desk. He's on my desk at work. The Mark 6. The. What's this? Shockwave Mission Iron Man. The Quantum Quad Bike, which looks. Kind of stupid. And the Mark VI Red Vortex, which is the little indie race car, which is not at all movie accurate because the car wasn't even red, it was white, but whatever. What's on the other side here? Oh, the helmet and the repulsor glove thing and arc light reactor. Little play sets. More toys. Here's a coupon. Save $5 on any Iron Man 2 toy purchase of $20 or more. So you have to buy $20 worth of stuff to get $5 off. I love how you people think. Whatever. Anyway, all right, back to the toy here. I should be able to cram him out. There we go. More junk. Window. Oh, here are the cards that all these figures come with. Which I actually do like these cards. I think they're pretty cool. Come on. Which apparently they have super glued these things on here. There we go. They welded this bag shut. 
Again, they don't they don't want me to get into this. There we go. More junk. Then you got the cards here. The torso. And the legs. And the arms. And you get a whole picture. Yay! A whole picture. Pretty cool. Alright. There goes the Hulkbuster. Oh. And here is the best thing. The figure stand! Alright. Of course, as we know, you just take the cards and you just kind of plunk them in here. Like so. Just one right here. One in the middle. And one on the end. And there you have your little... Kind of gives you a little bit of a 3D effect. Not bad. All right. There's the figure stand! All set and ready to go. So here is the Hulkbuster. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Pretty nice. Like it. Nice detail on the back. Like these little things, whatever they are. Pretty cool. That's what kind of articulation this thing has. Can he turn his head? Can, can he? Kinda. He can kinda turn his head? Not really, unless this joint is just really tight and you have to do... I'm guessing you probably have to do the warm water trick on this guy. Kind of loosen them up, which has apparently been the case for a lot of these Iron Man figures. You have to kind of dip them in warm water to loosen, loosen up the joints because they're really tight arms. You know, kind of do a whole rotation except for these flaps right here, which these flaps don't move. No, nope, they're just pretty much fused in there, so they don't move. So you can pretty much only get his arm up straight and straight out. And does he does he have an elbow? Okay, he does have an elbow. A bit of an elbow. There we go. He has a bit of an elbow. Rotation. No finger articulation. He just has his hand just... Yaw! And this hand just... Arr! Just ready to punch you. And that's pretty much it for articulation. He does have a wrist swivel on this one. Oh, there we go. He does have a wrist swivel. Waist movement. Very nice. A little ab articulation. Okay. Legs have the usual joint here, which is kind of annoying. Oh, and the joint's not tight. On my war machine, his one of his legs is actually fused. So, I have to do the warm water trick to my war machine, but this guy doesn't have that problem. His legs actually move freely. Okay. Nice knee joint. Oh, double, double knee joint. It's a double knee joint, not that it matters because you can still only get his leg into a 90 degree angle, but okay. Foot. Just goes around and around. And here's where we're going to do the warm water trick because his ankle, there we go, barely moves. There we go. We got the ankle moving now. Okay. Hmm. All right. This is not a bad figure. The the, the, the the paint apps are pretty pretty nice here. I just pretty much gave a gratuitous shot of his ass right there. Sorry about that. But he is a pretty... He, he's a decent figure. Not bad at all. I, I do kind of wish that these moved because, you know, if you kind of rotate this a little too much or get a little too overzealous with the figure when you're trying to pose him... I could see these easily just kind of snapping off. And the paint job here, I don't know if it'll really come across on my camera. Probably not, but it's kind of like a, a metal flake. You know, kind of sparkly finish to the red paint here, which is actually very nice. We'll put him here on his figure stand! Which he doesn't fit on, because pretty much the same problem that uh, the Ironmonger has. He's too big for the stand. Kind of pointless. He's way too big for this. He's covering up the entire card. There's no real display value with having a figure this big in front of something that small. But, all in all, I have to say, I, I like the figure. You know, it's a little limited in posability, but aesthetically, you know, it, it looks good. It looks, you know, it looks really nice. So, would I recommend him? I think I would. So, there's the Hulkbuster Iron Man, and that was my first impression.